So this is the third part of the modeling dog tutorial. Um, and in this one, we're going to uh, pick up from where we left off and add a little bit more detail into our dog object. So I'm just gonna press my uh, one key on my keyboard to go back to my um, block view and uh, or like the unsmoothed view. And I'm gonna start um, just adding in some more detail on my dog now because um, I think at this point, I've got as far as I can without starting to um, you know, add in that extra detail. So the biggest issue here is this chest area. I'm really not sure what to do with the chest area at this point, but I'm guessing that another edge loop right through this area here would be a good idea. The reason we're gonna use an edge loop here is because whenever you're gonna do a cut, cuts are basically exactly the same as an extrude in that they add more detail to your mesh. But whenever you do a cut, you always wanna make sure that you're, add, you're keeping um, edge loops in there um, to keep the box modeling working. Otherwise, what you're gonna end up with is triangles and other weird shapes, and they're going to start making um, other kinds of operations harder to, to do. And it's gonna also affect the quality of the smoothing when you try to smooth your mesh. So um, let's add in a loop cut. So um, the first thing I wanna do, oh, I've got a couple of vertices sticking out here way too far. This is that top part of the dog there. I might just move those back in there um, because I don't want to give myself an incorrect idea about what's going on with the uh, model. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put an edge loop right through here. So I'm going to go to my cut tool and um, at this point I want to hold down my control key to create an edge loop. Okay, so I don't want to just like manually put in a bunch of cuts through here because I'll get it wrong. But if you hold down your control key it'll put in an edge loop. And that puts in a whole bunch of vertices all the way around your object. And because we're splitting every single uh, rectangular face or quad in your model in half, it means that we're just creating a bunch of more quads. We won't end up creating triangles or other shapes. So we just click once in there like that, and now that's added these extra vertices. So I've added complexity to my model now. You can see that this is becoming even more of a tangle from the front view. But because I've got most of my vertices actually already right at this point, I only really need to worry about these new ones that I've created. So press your Q key to get out of your um, multi-cut tool. And what we're gonna do here is maybe uh, bring this one here forward a little bit. So this one and this one. Maybe not even this one, maybe just this one for now. I'm just going to bring that forward. So W key, and we're just going to bring it forward so that it's roughly in line there with um, the front part of my dog. And maybe actually we can bring the chest bit forward too. That might make sense at this point. So if we have a look here, we could imagine that this part that sticks out the furthest here is the front of the dog's chest. So we'll bring that one out too to line up with that. Um, that means that this one here is the bottom of the dog's chest and we can see that that sticks out a little bit too there. So we might just bring that out a little bit further as well. And just looking at the 3D view, we can see that that's worked pretty well. We can probably work a little bit with this area in here. It's looking a bit flat through there. See so if we have a look from the top down, it's looking a bit flat. So maybe we could uh, just bring this one here back a little bit like that just to get a bit more of that kind of leg shape in there. Alright, so that's not too bad. So that's given us the chest shape that we were after. It's giving us that extra detail without putting too much in there. A um, couple of other things we should do now. Uh, possibly, um, possibly some more detail through here would be a good idea. So a normal dog would kind of like narrow down through the through the waist area here and be a bit fatter here through the chest. Um, so it probably wouldn't hurt us to put another cut down through here. Also, we want to be able to bring this in a little bit more here and create a bit of a curve there. So we'll add another edge loop through there. So back up to our cut tool, back down to here, holding down the control key um, so we get the edge loop and we'll just pop that in there. And then we might just um, modify some of these curves. So press the Q key to get out of your multi-cut tool, back to vertex select mode, and we'll select those, those two top vertices there. Remember, drag select, and then W key, and we'll just move those into here like that. 
these two here again we'll move these down so that they're a little bit more in line and then we could probably even think about with these two ones this one here that's on the outside we'll probably just bring that out a little bit to just give our dog's chest a little bit more more volume there like that see how I'm using the 3d view here just to kind of like move these out make sure that I'm not putting them into positions that are too stupid you still want to check against your actual um, reference images here to make sure you're not moving too far outside them but by the same token I want my dog to kind of like um, have a bit of volume in that area there this one does come in a bit because it's the top of the dog's body okay so that's starting to look pretty good there I'm pretty happy with most of that Um, we could probably even um, do something about these this uh, eyebrow region up here now too. So let's uh, let's select this face here and let's extrude that out. Just extrude it out a bit, and then what we'll do is we will um, just scale that in, and we're actually going to scale it uh, probably this way and this way okay so we want it to just sort of oops we just want it to sort of come up here a little bit so that it's not quite so that there's a little bit of an angle coming up there now at this point you might be really tempted to create this curve through here by adding another subdivision down through the middle of the head but remember when you add these extra um, subdivisions you're going to be adding them right the way through the mesh and again here we want to be a bit careful about how many subdivisions we create even though we're adding more detail now and we're okay with doing that um, we don't want to, we still don't want to add too much detail our goal should always be to, to get our dog looking right with the least number of polygons possible um, there's one other little bit that I'm still not happy with is this back leg bit here. It's still a little bit. These vertices in here can probably come out. So I'm just going to go in here and select this vertex here. And I'm just doing this by eye. Um, there's no, there's nothing on the reference image that tells me where this bit here should go. But I just reckon it would look better if this kind of came out a little bit like this and maybe out a little bit like that. I don't want it to come out too far because I want the dog's body to go back in at that point but I can probably just adjust this just slightly to make it look just a little bit better the other thing is that the dog's hind leg sort of comes out at an angle right so what we're seeing here is this sort of shape here is not actually like the dog's leg isn't necessarily that thick dog's legs often sort of like turn out so that there's the knee and the back of the leg is that way so probably what we can do is we can probably adjust that a little bit at the front here too um, I might leave it for now although these last these two bits here should probably be a little bit closer together like this so the dog's legs not really that thick at the back So it helps for you to have some idea of the anatomy of the object that you're actually trying to model. So if you've, if you've never had a dog before, then you probably don't really know a lot about dog anatomy. Um, but if you have had a dog, you've probably got a pretty good idea of just roughly how it should look and what looks right and what looks wrong. Um, so modeling something that you know about is always, always, always a good idea. Okay, and this one here, that can probably even come in a little bit, right? because at the back of the dog here if we're looking at it from the top down it's going to kind of like have a sort of more rounded view to it so maybe this one can come back a bit here and maybe this one here can come in a bit like that and maybe this one here can come in just a tad too and this one here can possibly come out a little bit how's that looking that's not looking terrible. Uh, remembering that this is not actual, this is actually the, the halfway point of our dog, so um, that's looking okay. I'm all right with that at the moment. Okay, so we've basically got our dog to the shape that we want it to be now, um, with a couple of exceptions, and that's the ears and the tail. Um, so how do we go about fixing those up? 
And the answer to that is that we probably um, need to um, do some extra work with our cutting tools. And we're going to do a different kind of a cut here. So I said before that you should always do edge loops whenever you want to put in an extra cut. And so the temptation would be to put in an edge loop here or something um, to create that cut. But if we put that edge loop in there, watch what happens if we have a look at the hind leg. Oops, I always do that. Um, I blame using other pieces of software. So um, if we have a look at this hind loop here um, and we try and put an edge loop in at this point, you'll see that you'll see that that goes all the way down through the dog's leg. Now that's not a huge issue, it gives us more detail through the leg itself, but it actually basically just means that leg's a lot more complicated and we're adding a lot of extra vertices and faces in there that we don't really need for modeling purposes. So what we want to do is a different way of getting a space here to extrude the tail. Because effectively what we want to do is we want to extrude the tail out of this back. So we've got this face here. We want to be able to extrude the tail out of there. So you could sort of do it like this, right? You could kind of do an extrusion straight out of there. So we could sort of do something like this. Extrude straight out of there. Oops, let's undo that. So we could extrude straight out of there like this and then we could start to muck around with that polygon so that it was um, so that it was it was like the right size for the tail and everything but we're kind of changing the whole back to do that whereas most of the backs actually already right so there's a different way to do that we can if we go to our um, if we go and have a look at our top view here um, we can actually give ourselves a little box to um, to extrude out of. So use your multi-cut tool and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a little box starting from here out around the side of our um, of our mesh. So we're going to come out here like this. We're going to go here and here. And that we right click to finish that. That's going to be our tail there like that. That's going to have, we've got a quad there that we can extrude. The problem is that we've now got, if we go back into vertex mode, you can see that we've now created this quad here. We've ruined this quad here. So we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six um, vertices there. And six, six points or six edges is a hexagon. Um, it's not a quad anymore. So we want to turn this back into a quad and we can do that really easily just by clicking between here and here with our multi-cut tool. Okay, so multi-cut tool, start, start here with our multi-cut tool, go to here with our multi-cut tool, right click and now we've got one, two, three, four there and one, two, three, four there. So we've still got quads and we've got our new quads. So we'll go into our face select mode here and we will Q to get out of our multi-cut tool and we will now extrude just that vertex there, just that face there. So we'll go um, W and we'll bring that up and now on our side view here we can go into our vertex select Grab these two, bring them up a bit, bring them back a bit, down a bit, forward a little bit. Okay, so there's our, our tail started and it's coming out of our a dog at just the right at just the right place there. Um, is it thick enough? I don't really know. I can't really see the tail from our front view there, but I can see the very tip of the tail coming up there. So I know it needs to sort of um, flatten out at some point. So I might just extrude that one out again. Maybe to the widest part there. And then extrude it again for the top part. 
Now again, I could extrude that lots and lots of times and create lots of detail there, but remember we're trying to reduce the amount of detail. And also remember that we're trying to keep all of the vertices that are inside edge vertices, we're trying to keep them all along this central line here. I'll show you in a moment how we can fix that up um, before we um, put our mesh together. So now I'll just come in here and tidy these up. Probably the easiest way to do that is in vertex mode. So grab these. Okay, so there's my tail. Probably we should fix up the tail from the front view here. It's going to be a little bit wider down in this part here. So we want these two vertices there, this one and this one. Uh, let's have a look at this. So this one and this one and this one. And we're going to bring them out just a little bit, just to make the tail a little bit bushier. And this bit at the top here is going to bring that in a bit to make it a bit pointier at the top. Okay, so now we have our um, now we have our dog mesh here. It's all looking kind of nice. Uh, what else should we do at this point? I think ears is probably good. You can probably guess how we might do the ears now. The ears kind of, if we have a look on here, the ears kind of come out of the side of the head. You see they're coming out of the side of the head rather than the top of the head. So we want to have create a little quad through here. Again, we could do an edge loop right through or we could do our same little trick that we did before. So use our um, edge cut tool and with our edge cut here, we're going to click once in here. Once in here, once here, not quite that close. I'll try that again. Once here, once here, once here. And then we're going to connect those two. Oops. Let me create that with my right mouse button. And then we're going to do another cut between here and here. So we've got this quad here. And then we're going to go face select. And at this point, you can see we've got a bit where we can bring the ear out of. So we can go to our. Um, side view here and we're just going to extrude that so W key hold down the shift key extrude out a little bit and I might just rotate that face and scale it in a bit Okay, and then we'll go face select there and we will extrude that one out.
and then so on upwards. Until we have our ear. Okay, so there's the rough um, shape of the ear. We just want to go onto our side view now and just make sure that um, everything's uh, mapped out correctly on the side view. You can see it's way off here, but luckily it's going to be pretty easy for us to play with this. So uh, we're going to grab these two, just move them back a bit. Okay, and when we get down to here, it gets a little bit complicated again because we can't see all the different um, bits and pieces necessarily. So our 3D view might be a useful thing to go to at this point. Um, and we're going to move these vertices here are all the ones that we're kind of interested in at this point. So we're going to move those guys in to where the ear should be there. And maybe even this one here can just move in a little bit there like that all right that's looking pretty good so you might be sort of looking at this now and thinking but you know this the inside of the dog's ear here needs to be sort of curved in and that that's true um, we can go and, and add some detail to that the thing you've got to avoid doing when you're doing this is you remember you want to make your mesh kind of completely closed you don't want to just delete faces so um, when we come in here it's kind of tempting to think well one way we could create a sort of a, an indented bit here is just to delete those faces uh, with your delete key and now we've got a kind of like inside ear thing problem is that we've now kind of put a hole in our mesh so instead of doing that uh, what you want to do is you want to extrude this so use control E to extrude to bring up your um, extrude um, uh, box properties box and then offset here you want to put in a small offset I don't know how much it'd be worth doing here we might try a bit less okay maybe a bit more so what this is doing is it's giving us a kind of a bevel around the edge here so let me maybe try 0 0.02 okay so that's given this this little bevel thing here so that's good and then we can take those faces here and we can just extrude them in so we just go um, control E and we're going to just push them back into the mesh like this and maybe make them a little bit smaller in that dimension a little bit smaller in that dimension so that you can see that we've got this kind of thing going on and we can adjust that now as we need to later on Okay, so we've got our basic ear shape. We can see that the we could even go into the mesh here, into vertex select, and we could grab some of these and just move these across a bit. There's a little bit of funkiness going on in there. Might be due to where these are. Mm. 
There we go. That's looking a bit better. All right, so there's our ear more or less modeled. Okay, so there's our dog, um, the basic modeling of our dog done. I'm just gonna save that. Um, so that if there's a terrible crash at this point, we don't lose all that work. Um, and the next stage I want to do um, pretty much is the is the last sort of tidying up stage where we're going to look at it in um, we're going to uh, smooth it out and then we're going to um, mirror the two sides um, and um, put together the final dog shape. I'll show you how to do that in the next video.